Hi, Airman. Welcome, Motion RC. Captain Mike here. Today, I have the GT Power Servo Tester. Next to the battery checker slash tester, the servo tester is equally important to have as a tool in your toolbox. Especially during first time builds, never put your aircraft together without testing servos. There's nothing more annoying than having a maiden flight for the very first time, having a mishap, then wondering is it components? Is it the servos? Was it the motor or ESC? Well, this will take out some of that guesswork and also track down problematic servos on older aircraft. To power up your GT Power servo tester, you will need some type of battery pack. Now, this will take anything from a 4.8 volts to 6 volts. It's up to your discretion which type of pack you want to use. To make things easier, just make sure that there is a servo lead wire connector on it. I am using the 1500 milliamp 4.8 spectrum battery pack. This is actually a receiver battery. All you have to do is just plug it in to power up the servo tester. And you get a beautiful blue light. Plug in a servo in the other end here. And now you have three modes. On the first mode, you can manually turn your servo by using the dial. Push the button here. In mode two, this actually just centers the servo. And in mode three, it cycles the servo for you. To get to those hard to reach servos, it's no problem. All you need is a servo wire extension. Plug it in. And then plug in your servo. And then you can begin your test. You can also check an electronic speed controller on your servo tester. Just be sure that the rotary dial is turned to its minimum position. Unplug the extended battery pack. Plug in the electronic speed controller's servo connector into the test port. Plug in the required ESC battery, and it will give you a cell count. The nice thing about this servo tester, it automatically brings you to the manual mode. Carefully pick up the motor and turn the dial on the servo tester and apply throttle. Pretty awesome. You can also use the handy dandy compact portable self-contained servo testing station. All you have to do is plug in your servo, turn on the power supply, and you're ready to test. Oops, I got one of those hard to reach servos. No problem, I just open up the handy dandy compact portable self-contained servo testing station and pull the extension wire out, and now I'm ready to test. To build your own handy dandy compact portable self-contained servo testing station, all you need are these basic components. Now you can use either Sucrets, Altoids, anything like this that's a tin that the battery will fit in. You'll need some Velcro, a switch, and a lead. The tools that you're going to be needing is a Dremel tool. Use the Dremel tool to cut out the uh, area for the switch. Just measure it and the switch will fit right in. Also, you're going to make a hole that will allow the lead to go through. Velcro to Velcro the battery as well as the servo tester itself. You're going to need a soldering iron and hot glue. So let's start building. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut this wire down. I have the male and female parts. I also strip the wires out a little bit and I'm going to uh, take the two red wires which are going to be the power 
and I'm going to put that onto the switch and you want to make sure that the switch you get one wire in the middle and the one directly next to it and you're going to use these two leads right here on the side you're not going to use a lead on the bottom and then a lead on top it, it won't work that way on this particular switch you want to make sure that you put the wire first through the hole and then feed it through to the back that way uh, if you do that first it'll be a lot easier to get that onto the switch and then install the switch so this is what I have I have the switch installed I just used hot glue to hold it and I used hot glue here so the wires don't get caught up around the sharp edges of the tin on the back I just uh, soldered then taped the wires I also uh, put uh, hot glue over the leads so that way it doesn't short out because this is after all all tin and we go from there so I'm going to take some of this velcro I already have velcro on the back of the battery because every now and then I fly this actually in an aircraft I'm just going to put that just like this I'm going to put the battery in this way and I go ahead and hook this up and feed the wires right here and I can go ahead and close this up I'm going to put velcro onto the servo tester I'm going to put the other velcro right on it just like so put the sticky side I'm plugging this in now this could be a lot easier before oh got the switch on I'll turn the switch off there so now I can just plaster this right on. I'm going to make sure that the edges, oh boy, that the edge comes right up to the edge of the tin just like so. So it's easier to plug uh, and unplug those wires. Once the glue has dried on the handy dandy compact portable self-contained servo testing station, just remove the glue around the switch and you've got one nice looking handy dandy compact portable self-contained servo testing station. With that I'm Captain Mike Motion RC. Tune in for some more great ideas. See ya!